Good day, it's Dr. Richard Norris from Leading Men Only here on Tuesday's Power Play. Just wanted to share a message with you, really about your message, and it's really the core question that we're going to address today is, what's your message? You know, I'm sure if you're like me, you get messages all the time. You get email messages, you get text messages. Now, the interesting thing is, depending on who the sender is, uh, we may pay attention to the message or not. And in today's environment, in today's society, we're getting bombarded with messages. And so, as a result, the challenge is for us is to filter out which messages do we pay attention to and which do, the, do we ignore or set aside. And for each and every one of us, we have within us a burning message that we need to get out there. You know, it's, uh, it ties in with our purpose. And, and that r relates to our self-leadership, and again, that applies whether it's at work, rest, or play. And if you're anything like me, you know, it, I've gone through two periods uh, over the last two years where I, I've really felt like I needed to get to grips with what, what's my purpose and everything else. And more specifically, um, in the first period of praying, praying and fasting that I went through, uh, the message that came back to me was, Richard, you're supposed to be a messenger. I said, okay, well, I'm supposed to be a messenger. Well, you know, what's my message? And that was the next period of focus. And what came out of that was my message is really what's given birth to Lady Men Only. It's a get a message out there to for men specifically to help um, not just myself, well, myself starting with, but also through my, my focus on self-leadership is help other men out there to lead at work, rest, and at play. And really to step up because, you know, as I've seen in recent feedback, do some of the discussions on Facebook and everything else, is some of us men feel like we're uh, back against the wall kind of thing, and, and we're trying to reassert our brand and reassert our identity or, or find who we're meant to be kind of thing. And the key thing is really to understand what's our message collectively, but more specifically for you and for me, is what's our message. My message is, is through leading men only and challenging men to lead at work, rest, and play, but put the question out there for yourself is what is your message? And that's a great question to ask if you're not sure because we all have strengths, we all have passions, we all have things we're good at, things we're less good at, but it packaged in there is a message that we're supposed to be bringing. And it brings to mind for me is that, and I guess this is a key, a key point, and I came across this a few years ago and it really resonates with me and I hope it does with yourself as well, is your message has to be greater than your fear. And I've got this, this affirmation up on my wall that's an intention is my message is greater than my fear. That no matter what, you know, are there things that hold me back at times? Yes. But once you understand what your message is, fear lessens because you're emboldened by the fact you've got this message burning within you. And I know for me, um, the more interaction I have through leading men only with other men around the world, um, the more it stokes my uh, message and I want to get it out there even more because people are saying I'm on the right track and uh, the feedback is saying, you know, I wish there were more guys out there actually willing to address some of the issues that we as men face. And so for me, uh, my message is growing more, uh, growing stronger and the fear that I might have had about broadcasting it is lessening with it each and every day. Does it mean to say that that the fear is going to subside completely? Maybe, maybe not. But the essential thing is for me and for you is that your message actually gets bigger and, and bolder. And I guess that's really the your action point, your power play for today is to identify what is your message. And it'll be linked in tightly with your purpose, which we've talked about before. But then also is with that message is be bold with it. Be um, uh, strong and courageous with it and be authentic. You know, people uh, will engage with people like you and me once we're authentic, we're just uh, presenting ourselves, we're relaying our message from a place of genuine authenticity. So hopefully that's been of help today. I really appreciate you joining me today on today's Power Play. And uh, please drop by Leading Men Only or Facebook.com, Richard Norris Biz. Love to get into a discussion and for you to enjoy the, uh, enjoy the community that we're building there. But other than that, have a great day. Take care. And as I always say, be awesome. Thanks.